and wrestling without talking about the late, great Rowdy Roddy Piper. And I know you two had a bit of a relationship. What was it like with uh, uh, Rod? And, you know, can you talk about your relationship? Well, yeah, very good. And I loved the man to death. We're, we're brothers from another mother. He'd tell you the same thing. And um, we cut, we, um, I met him when I was 17 years old when I first started pro wrestling, when I broke in. And he treated me good then. And then we went through where well, he went on his way and I went my way. And we met up back here again. And we opened a business together. for had one for 14 years. We ran, we booked this territory with Don Owens together. We booked a couple places. We did all kinds of things together. I worked for him on the road as a bodyguard for like three years and all kinds of different things. And me and Roddy had a good relationship. Uh, sometimes he'd get me some mad. I want to kill him and, you know, and stuff. But you know, you're going to have that when you go through that many years, you know, being a friend with someone. But, you know, the thing about Roddy was this. And I'll put it to you like this. This is why I love the guy so much, and I miss him. was because, like, I was with him, as I can said, as a bodyguard toward the end there. And we went to a, a, a Comic-Con thing in L.A. And we were there about a week in this hotel. And um, we were flying out the next day to go to England for a couple weeks. And so I... um. I go, um, so um, Roddy goes, I'm going to help Roddy with the show in England and all that. So my first, my oldest girl, Brandy, was pregnant at the time. Here, She lived here in Portland, right, right across the street from us. And, my, and um, so uh, I'm sitting there that morning getting ready to go eat breakfast or something, and she calls me, Daddy, Daddy, now why did the baby call me? We're just, we were real close. And her mom was right across the street. I mean, right across the street. <laughs> but she calls me, Daddy. Daddy, my water broke. Help me. I'm like, baby, I'm in L.A., okay? I said, uh, she goes, well, I'm thinking to have this baby. And then I said, well, call your mom, and I'm on the next plane. So I packed my bags, and now I'm supposed to be going to England the next day, and I walk over and knock on Roddy's door, and I got my suitcase sitting there. He looks at me, and he's, he's mad. He goes, what are you doing? I go, you're going home? I go, yeah, bro, I got to go. I told him what's going on. My, my grandbaby's being born, and my daughter's calling. She's upset. And, he goes, dude, what about England? What about you? I need your help. He's going, he looks at me, he keeps, he looks at me, and I guess he see my expression, and he stopped, he goes, Lenny, we've been friends a long time, and this is where, why I care about Roddy, here's what came out of his mouth. He goes, hey, Lenny, your first grandbaby? I said, yes, sir. He goes, you know what, man? Remember one thing, family comes first. Get your ass to Portland, son. I'll figure out something. <laughs> That's my buddy, Ronnie hmm. Piper, right there. You know? Yeah. Hmm. But see, that's where he was, and that's where he treated his family. Family came first, you know. Yep. It's funny. He's a good hot. He was a tough, double tough cat too, boy. Oh yeah. It's funny because you, you, know, you see him on TV, and, and you know you see him as this uh, basically this real tough guy with uh, you yeah. know, crazy a, a crazy attitude and a big mouth, but you don't realize he's such a sweetheart, you know, behind the scenes. No, he had a good heart. He had a real good heart. He could be a tough guy if he wanted to be, but he's a, one hell of a shrewd businessman too. You know, he got the money out of them promoters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what is what he was is good at that. Like over the, definitely. What is it like with, you know, the Portland wrestling scene? Because, you know, obviously with uh, Don Owens, you hear a lot of stories. But what is it like over there? Um, you know, you hear like a lot of legendary stuff about the booking over there. And, you know, obviously a lot of great yeah. guys came and went for the territories. But can you give us a, a little glimpse into the Portland wrestling scene? Yeah, yeah, I will. It's um, when I came here, the, um, I was in Texas uh, for the Von Erickson World Class, and I got booked. And finally, I called, and me and Don made a deal. They needed a booker, okay? Because Rip Oliver was going to WWE, and Rip was their booker. And so Rip, uh, he uh, talked to Don, and he recommended me to come here and take the job because he knew I knew how to do that. And so I got booked over here, and finally we got it, we agreed on the money. Don was finally. And so I come over here, and uh, the first show I made was a sports arena in Portland. So now I just left down south, and I'm used to wrestling the Superdome, um, big arenas, coliseums, all this kind of stuff, right? And uh, I pull up here in my first show, the Cuban assassin, uh, Fidel Sierra, was driving me. We're riding together, and he get there. He goes, here's our, here's our big show. And it's a bowling alley, <laughs> the sports <laughs> arena. arena, arena it's <laughs> It's a reconditioned bowling alley. They it's called the sports arena. You got to be. Is this our big show, brother? Yeah, I said, oh, now I was ready to get on the plane, and go home, back to Texas. 
And he goes, no, man, you're going to like it. So we got in there. But once I've seen the tradition and all the stuff and all the history and all the background, it was an honor to be here. You know what I mean? I mean, I, sometimes I didn't feel like I was good enough to be in there, <laughs> you know? I go, man, these guys, a lot, all Buddy Rose, everyone, Flair, everybody's came through here. Harley Race, you name it, right? And it's like it was just an honor to be there. And then I got the hat, the knack of it and really, you know, I, it's it was a good territory because you'd be home every night, you know. And Don was a good payoff guy. So it was really a joy to work here for Don, you know. Yeah, it was good. Absolutely. 